<laughs> I might move on to Steve. Seeing Robert out in front and looking to be doing it pretty easily, what effect did that have on you? Well, it was great because it's, um, I've been rooming with Rob over here and he's really helped me a lot. And it's, I've always looked up to Rob and it was great to see him out there in a commanding lead and he looked very strong when he came past us at the turn. Your very first marathon, how did it differ from what you expected or did it? Well, I, I could probably say that it wasn't as quick early as what I expected, but Rob had mentioned that it probably I would find it a bit comfortable after 10k. And um, it was, but it got really tough at about 22 miles. Suddenly you're feeling good and then suddenly just within a mile your legs can just give way and it, it is really tough, really tough. When you came into the uh, stadium you had the, the other guy in front of you. It seemed by that stage you, you'd given up the thought of a silver medal. Was that how it happened or were you actually still trying to, to get past him? Well, I'd probably given up the chance of a silver medal when I when I decided to run the marathon. So <laughs> I was thinking as the pack started at 10, I was thinking 10th. As it dropped to 9, I was thinking 9. And at one stage, I was thinking 3rd when there was only three of us there. And I was really hanging on to the Canadian man. And he, he ran really well. And I was glad he was there. He helped me through. And we sort of shared a bit of it. But I, I wasn't really thinking of second, as I say. It was the first one. And it was just experience. I didn't know what I was doing there. So I just tagged along. It looked pretty impressive. Just one question for each of you. What, what's next for you, Robert? Steve Monaghetti. Tremendous performance. He's broken two hours and 12 minutes. He's finished with 2.11.50. Tremendous performance. Big hug there for his wife, Tanya. Well done. A good team. Takes a team to produce the kind of results that Steve monaghetti has been producing over the last 10 years of his marathon career. And it's one of the, the great moments in any athlete's career to be able to share that with, you, with your wife. A little tear in Tanya's eye as she wiped it away being, being uh, inundated by the, the media. Well, we're heading over to Glasgow, apparently, oh. as the assistant chief of the mission. Is that correct? Well, I'm not needs... sure if you can actually have two assistants. Oh, That's right. one thing. You won't have to have an arm. Might be able to have a fill-in. Like yeah. I could, you know, I could have oh, a bit yeah. of a snooze under the desk, and you guys can just sit in the chair, take over for me, give me a rest. Good. Well, Do you we, look like me. We when all, you, with when like you need to be disguised, Mona. Yep. Here you go. Here we go. Ah, look at this. <laughs> I like it better this way, I reckon. Can I have a bit oh, of hair? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I like that. Beard. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's right. Got the ginger <laughs> ale happening. You I don't mind that. You like a Scotsman <laughs> there, yeah. for sure. It's a bit of, a, bit of a beret as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, look, Ballarat would be very proud of you right now. Yes. Yeah, so where's this going? This is only, this is just between us. To, yeah, us I don't think it's, it's, it's even <laughs> recording. No, no thank no, God for that. We hope not. There's only one Monaghetti. Only one Monaghetti. Chief in your long, golden and bronze, chief in a modest wonderland. There's only one Monaghetti, only one Monaghetti. Chief in your long, golden and bronze, chief in a modest wonderland. We love you, Steve. That's not gold, that's Shelly gold. Yeah! Woo! Great work, Chief. You're the man. Oh.